This is a new Squarespace feature that I am really excited about. Today I'm going to show you how to easily hide the header or the footer or both on a page on your website. Now, why am I excited about this? It used to be that we had to add custom code. We had to go into code injection on a page and add code to do this. So before we jump in, why might you want to hide the header or footer on your website? There are a few times where this is really handy. Uh, one is if you're working on your website behind the scenes and you have a coming soon page like this one, you want to not have the traditional header and footer because you don't want people to be able to click around on things there and go to other pages on your website. The other place that I think it's really great is if you have an Instagram link and bio page on your website, you're removing the header and footer and just pointing people to the exact things you want them to visit. You can also do this on launch pages for new offers, for sales pages. Anytime you don't want people clicking around on your website and going to other places, which granted most of the time is the goal with a website, but sometimes it's important to remove that capability. So I want to show you how to do that. So when I am, let's back up. When you log into your website, it's going to look like this. You get your homepage here. We are in my scribe template for authors, but whatever website you're on, you'll see the homepage and you'll see a menu on the left. Today, when I'm looking at this menu, it says website and pages. Squarespace has been adjusting things over here quite a bit, but whatever they do, it's probably gonna be the top thing here that's gonna get you into your pages for your website. And now if I click on that Instagram link and bio page, and I click on the cog icon here. If I go to navigation here on the left, you can see that I've toggled off show header and show footer. If I toggle them back on and hit save, that's what it looks like with the header and footer. That's not what we want, so let's toggle those back off. Now, one thing that I think that could be an improvement is if we removed this announcement bar. There's not currently a way to do that. I kind of feel like if you're removing the header of your website, you should also remove the announcement bar. So I'm going to put in a feature request for that. But in the meantime, if you don't want the announcement bar showing, I'm going to put a code snippet down below that you can just paste into advanced code injection and hit save and that announcement bar will go away. Now, if you're not using an announcement bar, you don't need to use the code, but if you are and you don't wanna show it on that page, we still have to do a little bit of that code injection magic. So I'll drop that code below as well. And I, um, I hope you'll join me in uh, letting Squarespace know that we would prefer that the announcement bar not show up if we have removed the header. And I hope that you found these tips helpful. I wish you all the best with your website.